All right, hello everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday Live at 5 here at Old Town Quilt Shop in Orchid, California. I am Stacy, and while we're waiting for some people to get on, we'll give you information on how to contact us. So when we show you all this lovely fabric, if you want to order some, then this is how you can do that. So you can visit our website, you can email us, or you can give us a call. And if you'd like to visit us in person, if you're in the area, here is our address and our current hours. And speaking of our current hours, just so you know, next Monday, October 31st is Halloween and we will be closed, not specifically because of Halloween, but because we will be out of town. So tomorrow at before the sun comes up, <laughs> um, mom and I are leaving to go to Houston, Texas, so that we can go to Fall Market, the International Fall Market, um, for shop owners. And then immediately following that is um, International Quilt Festival, which you guys could go to if you really wanted to. Um, but we're really excited about going to market. That's where we get all of the new ideas for patterns and classes, and we find cool gadgets and things to, you know, to then share with you guys. So be sure to, um, if you have a Facebook account, please follow us on Facebook because sometimes we like to do lives while we're at the show. If we find something fabulous that we're super excited about, then um, we'll go ahead and share that with you guys and we'll do that via Facebook, uh, Facebook Live. So be sure to follow us on there. If you're watching this, you know, via the newsletter later, please, you know, we encourage you to just get a Facebook account, follow us on there, and then that way you get to see all the latest and greatest things that we have coming up. Okay, so speaking of latest and greatest, we have a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys today. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the first round of fabrics, you guys are going to be like, wow, you guys really like black and white. And the truth is, yes, mom really likes black and white. <laughs> and so we have a lot of that right now. So this first grouping, they're called Century Whites and Century Blacks. So when you're looking them up, that's how you'll find them. Um, these are by Andover. We love Andover fabrics. These are 1220 a yard. So this first one is a white on white. And it is little, they're like little asterisks. You could use them as snow. You could just use them as a background. It will read white, um, but it really does have the little asterisks. There we go, we can kind of see those better there. Okay, so that's the first one. And then the next one has little circles. If you can see that there, they're kind of interlocking circles. So both of those are pretty much true whites. And so those are white on white. And then the next one we have black on white and then a tone on tone black. These have the same pattern on them. So they've got the little swirl and then the little tiny black star on it. So this one is the black on the white. And then the next one is the same pattern, but it is black on black. So it's a tone on tone. So if you are looking for something where you don't want the solid black, but you want something with a little bit going on in it, then this one is a perfect choice. And then we have another white on white and it's counterpart with the black on black, the tone on tone. So this one, I think I call it hashtags, but I, they're like an interlocking weave or a checkerboard weave or something I think is actually what it's called. So you can kind of see that going on there. And then we have the same design in the tone on tone black. So I know it looks gray on camera, but really it is a black background and then it's got that kind of lighter dark gray, charcoal gray on it. But it really is a tone on tone. And so like I said, these are nice, the, you know, the tone on tone blacks are really nice for if you don't want a true black and then the whites if you don't want just solid white but you want something kind of going on in it so that you can you know when you get up close you can see a really cool pattern so and then those are all white on white so again if you're looking it up it's century whites and century blacks okay more black and white <laughs> so these ones are designed by Patrick Lowe's for Northcott. This first one is called Groovy Garden, and these have all different kinds of shapes and sizes of flowers. Um, so this is the black on white, and then we have the white on black as well. It's the positive and negative. So what's fun about these is you can do, you know, a circle, and then you can do half with the black and then half with the white, or you can, 
you know, there's all kinds of patterns out there where you can use both the positive and the negative, and then you can throw some color in there to make it, you know, super interesting. Some red, you know, traditional red, or you can do pink or purple or blue or, you know, whatever you want. Or lime green, if that's what you like. So this one is Groovy Garden. And then the next one is called Doodle Hearts. This is also Patrick Lowe. So again, with the positive and negative. So we have the white with the black hearts and then the black with the white hearts. And these have kind of like a, a drawn, you know, doodled look. So if you're sitting there, I love Jimmy on your, you know, your little notebook. These would be the little hearts that you'd be drawing. <laughs> so positive and negative, you know, just, just a lot of fun to play with. And, you know, they don't have to be used together. You can use them separately um, in whatever you choose. Okay, going away from black and white. Now we're going to go to some color. So this one is called Birds of Paradise by Banyan Batiks, and it's 1410 a yard. So we're going to open this one up so that you can see the floral going on in there. So this is a multicolor on a black background. The predominant color seems to kind of be like this red orange, but really it has everything. You've got some yellow in there, and you've got blue, and you've got purple. Um, so you can pull from all kinds of colors. This would be a fabulous focal print, uh, you know, in any pattern, and then pull these colors to go with it to make a nice bright pop. Um, so just a, you know, just a lot of fun. And it's called Birds of Paradise by Banyan Batiks. Okay, then we have Color Wash by Wyndham, and these are all, you know, basic, so we put these on the color wall. This first one is really neat. Um, it's kind of got a washed out background, but then it looks like they took bleach, like a, a Tide bleach pen or something, or a Clorox pen, and and just kind of drew on it. So this is horrible color on here. It is not blue. It is teal. <laughs> it is like that green, blue, teal, turquoise color. Um, the lighting is just, yeah, no. It really is like a, a teal color. My shirt is blue. <laughs> <laughs> so give you a comparison. Okay there. Yeah. okay, there we go. Yeah. Right there. Right <laughs> there is the color. Eh, it's still a little green. Yeah. But it's really fun because it looks like you just took a bleach pen and just drew some lines on there. Like your, my four-year-old granddaughter just kind of took some, you know, had some fun here and just, bleh, or you're practicing your machine quilting. I don't know. <laughs> but it's, you know, Again, if you're looking for something that has color to it, not a lot of design on it, just for some visual interest, this would be a lot of fun. I really like this one. And then we have one that is a kind of a mm, beigey grayish, a real light taupe color to it. Um, it's kind of a tone on tone, but it has these um, square... Mm, what are they called? There's a name for that. It's like the circles that go around and around, but these are rectangles. <laughs> Great design for machine spirals. quilting. Yes, yeah, spirals. But these are square spirals. So they're a lot of fun. They just kind of go through all over the place. So again, if you're looking for a background fabric that doesn't have, you know, a whole lot going on in it, but you don't want it to just be plain, this would be great for that. Or sashing. And then these two don't have any design on them. They just have like a texture, like you just took a paintbrush or you're wiping something that was dirty and the dirt just smeared on there. That's kind of what this reminds me of. And we have, um, yes, hence the name Color Wash. Um, we have a nice blue and then a gray. So again, we've got this guy with the rectangular spirals and then the fun teal one with all of the little shapes on it, and these are all called Color Wash, and they're $13.45 a yard, and they're by Wyndham Fabrics. Okay, this one, we opened the box and went, huh, isn't that fun? <laughs> so this is not really our style, but it's kind of fun fabric. So it's called Happy Go Lucky, and it's $13.80 a yard from In the Beginning. Um, they have a very retro feel to them. It reminds me of like Brady Bunch type feel, you know, those short dresses. And um, I have a bag, I have a suitcase from the 1970s that this reminds me of. So it's just got that kind of retro feel to it. So it's a like an apricot pink in the background and then these really bright fuchsia and deep red. 
um, and orange and yellow flowers. This one, then you've got the lime green. It's that kind of classic, almost avocado green. <laughs> so you have the large floral, and then you have this green background with a real small, it's supposed to be a flower, it's kind of like tic-tac-toe with a spot right in the center of it. Um, but it's yellow and pink. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing at me. <laughs> and then you have a smaller floral, and it's again the pink background, but with the orange and kind of gold uh, flowers in it. It's much darker than it looks on camera. And they call this one red, but it's really an orangey, it's a very orangey red. And it has the little yellow hash marks, not hash marks, but like the yeah, drops, seeds, whatever, going through it. And then you have this very mustard yellow with the vines and leaves going through it. So in our notes when we ordered this we wrote three yard quilt, um, which these would be great for. Definitely if you want to bring back that retro vibe, this would be a super fun uh, collection for that. So again, this is called Happy Go Lucky from In the Beginning. This would make a cute bag too. So if you're making a, a handbag or even like a cosmetics bag, it'd be really cute for that. Okay, moving on. Now, now this is really fun because it looks like a batik, but it is not. It is just a regular cotton fabric. Um, this one's called My Mother's Garden and it's $15 a yard from Northcott. And the reason we got this particular fabric is because we also have the 10 inch squares from my mother's garden so we were thinking that this would make a good you know border or sashing or you know whatever depending on um, what pattern you're using unfortunately they're wrapped in plastic so we just kind of peeled back some of the plastic so that we could show you some of the fabrics in here this whole collection reads like a batik but it is cotton so there's our fabric they're just a lot of fun some really you know interesting colors I love the polka dots of course and this would be a cool stripe, um, little, you know, kind of just like in a garden. There's like rocks and leaves and flowers and all kinds of fun things in there. Really pretty colors. I love that one too. So this is called My Mother's Garden. These are 10 inch squares um, and they are $46.99. There are 40 pieces in this collection, 40 or 42, 42. So there's 42 pieces of fabric in there for $46.99 and it goes along with this one that we got as a coordinate called My Mother's Garden. So again, a lot of fun. You could sneak this in with your batiks and nobody would ever know and it will just blend right in. <laughs> it's really pretty. Okay, and then we have Chroma from Northcott. Now we got a lot of different things with this. So we'll start with the fabric and then we'll go to the pre-cuts and then we'll go to the patterns. So we have Chroma for eleven seventy five dollars a yard by Northcott. And these are just kind of like the color wash. It's just something, you know, to use as a background. So we have this gray and there's a lot of different shades of gray in there. Um, and then we have a blue, which has these little pops of teal in there. This is a really like royal midnight blue, you know, kind of tones of royal and midnight. And then these little pops of teal here and there. It's kind of fun. So we have those two that can be used, you know, our intention was it, you know, to be used as backgrounds, you know, for the gray, and then as kind of an accent color for the um, teal. So we got also 10 inch squares, and there are 42 pieces in here of chroma. And then we have the strips. So the strips will show you all the different colors in the collection. So they're all the different colors of the rainbow, but these are very muted colors. They're not, you know, super bright ones. So everything from, you know, black to gray to a really light gray, and you've got the yellow and the orange and the red, pinks and purples, blues, greens. Yeah, they're a little bit more jewel tone. So they, you know, they're, they're toned down. It is the colors of the rainbow, but, you know, the more muted jewel tone colors. So they're a little deeper. So 40 pieces in the two and a half inch strips, and those are $47.99. And then you've got the 10 inch squares with the same colors in it, and there's 42 pieces in there. Now, the thought process behind those was these two patterns. So the Chroma Wave um, uses the two and a half inch strips plus the background fabric, and I think you make your binding out of leftover pieces from the strips, so you use everything. 
And then the chroma confetti uses the 10 inch squares plus the background fabric and you could use that deep blue that we have um, as the border. Uh, you know, that one of those inner borders. So they come out to be essentially the same size, pretty close. The confetti one that uses the layer cake is 56 by 68 and it just uses, you know, the 10 inch squares and two and two thirds of background fabric and then a yard of border and binding fabric. Um, so you're pretty good there. And then Chroma Wave is 55 by 66 and you use the uh, two and a half inch strips and then two and seven eighths of background fabrics. So that one's really simple and that includes, you know, um, the strips include your binding. So that's kind of nice because you just use everything. Okie dokie. So that is all of the fabric that we've gotten in this week. Um, so once again, just remember that we're going to be closed on Monday, which is October 31st. That's Halloween. Um, we will be coming back from Houston to go to Fall Market. This Saturday is um, the Orchid Trick or Treat. So here in town, they have the little kids come, you know, they dress up and go business to business doing their trick or treating. So that's going to be this Saturday. So if you have little ones or grand little ones or, you know, have neighbors or whatever that want to come down and do some trick or treating ahead of Halloween, they can come here this Saturday from 1 to 3. And one of our customers was kind enough to um, hand out the candy for us this year. So we'll have a table set up for her to hand out candy. And I think someone else um, is going to be, hand you know, another business who doesn't have a storefront is also going to be handing out candy. Um, so, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's really cute to see all the little kids in their costumes and all the families in their costumes. That's the best part when, like, the whole family dresses up and they all come together. It's so adorable. Um, so even if you just want to watch people trick or treat, <laughs> just come down and, and look at the little kids or, you know, bring your little ones if you have little ones or, you know, make sure that the neighbors come down here. It's, it's a really, really fun time. Um, so that's on this Saturday from one to three. Okay. Um, anything else? Any questions or comments so far? Again, we are off to fall market. Um, early, early, early tomorrow morning. <laughs> but um, we hope to do at least one live while we are there, probably more, depending upon what fun things that we find. Um, so be sure to be watching over the weekend for that notification that we are going live. Um, they probably won't make it into a newsletter. So again, I encourage you to watch us on Facebook, you know, follow us on Facebook and watch those um, videos. So Alrighty, we'll have a good, safe weekend. We will try and have a good, safe weekend as well. Again, the World Series will be here. It'll be there. Uh, so that's going to make it extra special for us. <laughs> but anyways, all right. We'll have a good evening, and we'll see you next week.